Hello again. Today marks 13 years since the passing of reggae legend Lucky Dube. He passed away after being shot during an alleged hijacking and remains one of the most celebrated musicians on the African continent. And we have the privilege of speaking to his son Togozane Dube in a moment. But before we do, let's take a look, listen at one of his hits. Son of the soil and legend on the continent, Wablaki Dube. We're in conversation with his son now, Togozane Dube. So, how are you? I'm Ah, well, they're okay, you know, uh, given the day, but uh, sure. it's okay, yeah. And what exactly does this day uh, mean to you? Jeez, it's, uh, it's just the memory of a very terrible uh, day, you know, for my family and, and, and above all, like, uh, I think uh, just everyone, his fans all over the world, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, uh, it's, it's just a reminder, really, of a very tragic day in history for, for, for the family. Your father meant so much to a lot of people. Some of them didn't even know him, you know, mm -hmm. and throughout the continent, when you talk about Lucky Dube, people just go crazy. Uh, but who was he to you? He was a lot of things to a lot of people, but who was he to you? Jeez, to me he was just this very strict, simple guy. Simple guy, but very strict, you know. I, growing up, I didn't know uh, Lucky to be the celebrity or Lucky to be the musician, you know. I just knew my dad that, you know, you had to stay in line. If you're not in line, you're getting a whipping, you know. He was, he was that guy, you know. So, um, you know, for him to be really um, liked so much across the continent not even just the continent but the world you know sure. it's 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 just really amazing you know to 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 be the son of such a, of such a, a parent mm. you know so yeah is that not pressure uh, on you it's a lot of pressure you know because when you come in musically you know when you try to do something musical they listen to your notes they listen to his notes and they're like nah you don't sound like, sound like your dad and i'm like but wait i'm not my dad guys can you guys just sure. You know, so it's always, it's always a, a lot of pressure, you know, but um, the pressure brings about um, a lot of competen uh, competence in me, you know. It really pushes me to, to do better. Sure. How would you characterize uh, your, your father's legacy, uh, if, if you will? As like, it's, it's humongous. How, I don't even know where to start. Um, I mean... Look, I think um, a lot of people just look at uh, Legacy from the point of just his music carrying on, uh, just continue, continuing to play, you know, but um, a Legacy is much, is much bigger than that, you know, if you look at um, the things that uh, he stood for, the messages that he was sending a across the world, you know. Um, I think um, the people that remain and listen to those messages, those people stand testament to his legacy, you know, and of course they come in the form of music, you know, but the things that he was fighting for, you know, I think that's, that's a very solid legacy to leave, you know. And, and it's messages that will be carried out, you know, throughout uh, generations that your father passed away um, the way that he did. What does that mean for you and your family? Uh, look, the way he, he passed on, it was, it, was, um, it was shocking. I mean, obviously, I was there with my sister Nguli as well, you know. So um, it was a very scary period. Um, 
But, uh, you know, if you look at all the other reggae greats and how they, they passed on, you know, you sort of start, uh, you start look, uh, seeing a trend, if I can call it that, you know. So end up not knowing, is it a ploy to get these people out the way or, or, or what is it, you know? So, um, but yeah, it was a horrible way to, to lose him. Obviously, we wish we had um, a little more time with him. But uh, I think uh, we're grateful for the little time that we did have with him. You know? Sure. Yeah. What did that healing journey, um, or what was that healing journey like for you and your sister having seen that? Jeez, is there ever healing? Do you ever heal from that? You know, um, I think uh, at one point I was also just concerned with the fact that I almost lost my life as well. My sister almost lost her life as well, you know. So I don't think it's, it's something that um, you can ever heal um, over, you know, especially when um, wherever you go in the world, you know, the first thing they say to you is, oh, you're dead, and they start breaking down, and now you also start breaking down, you know, so it's, it's, it's but it's an ongoing process, you know. Um, I guess time will heal all of it, I think, you know, but... Uh, so I, I think it's quite difficult to get over this. Of course. Um, you know, we know Gutsinge Sintu, Muntu, Agashoni, Uyalala, and then Ukona, he's, he's with you all the time. So, Umunga Kurma Nayanje, like, what is it that, maybe if you don't mind sharing with us, Oof. that you, if you had a conversation, Naye, um, what is it that you would say to him? Jeez, I think, I think, I think I'd just, oof. Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, I think I'll just ask for a bit more wisdom. I think he had he had um, a lot of, 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 of wisdom, you know, um, just about life. You know, I think he had, by, by, by his age, uh, he had experienced quite a lot, you know. So um, I think I'm at the age now where I need that little bit of wisdom that he had, you know, to push me forward, you know. So I think I just ask for, for, for wisdom, you know, and hopefully just stay, don't die, stay. You can be sick or whatever, but you know. Sure. Is that loud or not? Yeah, I know. Sure, sure. Thank you very much for making time to come and talk to us uh, this afternoon, just reflecting uh, on your father's memory and legacy and letting us in uh, on what it is that you went through as well. Togozani Dube. Thank you very much.